In today's respill, we're going to be covering Jaclyn Hill responding to fake news surrounding her ex-husband's recent passing. There's been many disrespectful news reportings made about the situation. There was some breaking and very sad news that Jaclyn recently shared. She'd announced the recent passing of her ex-husband John Hill at only 33 years old. This was a statement that John Hill's family had made and had asked Jaclyn to share. It is with profound remorse and sorrow that we must report that our beloved Andrew Jonathan Hill passed away on August the 10th, 2022. We are all devastated by the sudden tragedy. The Hill family requests privacy during this overtly difficult time. John Hill had been public with his struggles with addiction in the past, which ultimately led to the end of his and Jacqueline's marriage. Jacqueline is absolutely heartbroken, and she's been receiving lots of love and support from family, friends and fans, and even Trisha Paytas, which was kind of controversial. Jacqueline recently posted a tribute to her ex-husband on her Instagram, alongside some beautiful photos of them both, and even though he was her ex-husband, she always wished the best for him, and always wanted him to get clean. The last video she'd posted was of John getting baptised. So here's what Jacqueline said on her Instagram. I can't believe this day has actually come. I am so out of my mind right now. I don't know how I'm even going to type this, but I'm going to try. John, you were the most kind and compassionate human I've ever known. You looked people in the eyes and you truly listened and cared about what they had to say. You had so much talent you didn't even know what to do with it. You turned your pain into art and touched so many people with your honesty and your music. You were one of the funniest people I've ever met. You made everybody laugh uncontrollably and I will forever miss that about you. I know we ended our marriage, but we never stopped loving and caring for each other. All I ever wanted was for you to find your happiness and be free from your struggles. My heart is broken knowing that you're gone, but my spirit knows that you're finally free. And I know that you're up there playing the drums right now, making everyone laugh. I will carry our memories and inside jokes with me for the rest of my life. Rest peacefully. Love Twix. It must be incredibly heartbreaking for her, even if she has moved on, after all they've been through together and Jacqueline still carries his last name. He was her first love after all. Jacqueline had also posted this to her Instagram story. Hey you guys, I thought that it was time that I came on here and showed my face. Uh, the past four days have been, I'm, you know, you, you can't even put into words what the past four days have been. Grieving and going through the steps and the process of grieving is just such a roller coaster of emotions. And yesterday was my hardest day. Yesterday it was like the day that I needed just to scream cry, you know? Um, it's just crazy thinking of the good memories along with just like the sad and the anger. And then, oh, there's just. Today I woke up for the first time and I just genuinely felt a peace. Like I feel like I felt John's spirit this morning. Oh my God. And he has the sweetest spirit. It's like he's free. Here she'd said, processing the death of your ex-husband is the weirdest mix of emotions I've ever experienced. One minute I'm laughing so hard at all the silly memories from when we were teenagers, the next I'm crying. The next I'm at so much peace for his soul because he no longer has to fight his addiction. I'm just all over the place. Someone had asked her, has Jordan been understanding with you grieving the loss of your ex-husband? Jacqueline responded, beyond understanding. He's devastated about it as well. Even after we divorced, we still kept in touch with him. All we ever wanted was for him to find his happiness. She then said, I keep thinking about all the conversations we used to have about death, and he would always say that he hoped that people would party in his honour and his music would live on. He wasn't scared of death at all. I never understood it, but I feel like I'm not making him 
proud right now. He would want me to be laughing and posting makeup tutorials and thriving. He was the biggest fan I've ever had. He thought my career was so cool and I just don't know how to get back on track. Like I took this picture yesterday because I liked my outfit and I've been losing weight and feeling good in my skin but I felt guilty for feeling good. I didn't want to post it because I just feel weird about everything. Jacqueline also reposted some quotes that John had made about her in the past which E had reposted. She'd said, my heart is so broken but I know his soul is finally resting peacefully. John had said in the throwback quotes, for some reason I was thinking about how amazing it would be to enjoy Christmas with her while being clean. She often said, you don't love me because you never want to do things with me, but it was because I kept having to hide my from her all the time. Someone had commented beneath this, I've been a fan of you both, but it's shocking you were using quotes from interviews about how he went to rehab for him to only find out you left him. My stuff gone and not knowing who she's with, I was just devastated. Within two months, I was back on. Jacqueline had responded, grow up. Now when Trisha Paytas posted her condolences to Jacqueline, everyone started coming for her because Trisha had actually got in with Jacqueline's ex a few years ago and there was a big scandal surrounding this. So obviously people were coming for her on Twitter. Someone had said, didn't you hold him hot? Someone else said, girl, you literally bragged about hooking up with him. This is so embarrassing. Just leave her alone and stop making things about you. So sorry you sh** her ex-husband and held him hot while you made out on Instagram he hurt you. Also while using him for hope you're happy now. Since that whole scandal took place a few years ago, Trisha has since apologised to Jacqueline and they've actually made up. Now everyone's been wondering what exactly happened to John because they're concerned and upset and there's not any real news out there that explains why, but at the end of the day it's up to John's family to decide if they want to talk about that. In saying that, Jacqueline has however responded to fake news sources and has cleared up that John was not in a car accident. Jacqueline had recently responded to a disgusting post that's since been deleted. She'd said, your entire page should be shut down. You're impersonating somebody else and accusing someone of, I'm reporting you. Jacqueline had also responded to all these fake news reportings that someone had called out on Twitter. The user had said, you know what's up? I keep getting videos suggested to me on YouTube about John Hill with different pictures of car crashes claiming to be images of his car accident. Y'all are even gross trying to cash in on this man's death. Jacqueline responded, it's so frustrating. He was not in a car accident. I wish people would just have respect for him and his family instead of trying to get views. Jacqueline has since put a halt on any new product releases that were scheduled for this week in honour of her ex-husband. So what are your thoughts on poor Jacqueline's response to these fake news stories? Let me know in the comments.